Are you using Slack to communicate with your team? Notion Slack integration makes sharing ideas and information between both apps effortless. Keep track of changes to a Notion database from the comfort of a Slack channel, preview Notion page links in your Slack conversations, view your Slack messages right in Notion, create new database entries from a Slack message without needing to switch tabs, or get notified in Slack every time someone tags your name in Notion. This video will cover all of these instances and show you how connecting both apps might facilitate your work. Want to keep track of changes happening to your Notion workspace from the comfort of Slack? You can easily do this by setting up Slack notifications. This feature is twofold. First, you can forward any mention of your name in Notion to your Slack account. That is, whenever a colleague mentions you in a Notion page, you would immediately receive a Slack message about it. Your peers may tag you inside the body of a page, inside a comment, or inside the person property of a database. Commonly, this happens when you get assigned a task or a project. In any case, a Slack message will show informing you of the context in which you were tagged. For comments, you even have the option of replying directly from Slack. Hit reply, enter your message here, then send. And just like that, your message will then appear as a regular comment in Notion. To activate this feature, go to Settings and Members, then My Notifications and Settings. If your Slack integration is already set up, you should see the name of your Slack workspace appear in the text and in the dropdown. In this case, ours is called Tools for Thought. As you can see here, you can also stop these notifications at any time by selecting Off from the dropdown. Lovely! Now, the second thing Slack notifications can do is inform you in Slack of changes made to a Notion database. We'll use this Tasks database as an example. Click on your database's main menu, symbolized by the three dots at the top right. Then select Slack notifications. Here, we can name the notification we'd like to set. In this case, we want to be pinged when a task status is set to complete. Great. In the case of this notification, we'll opt for no filter and we'll rather choose the first option, any page in tasks. The next step is to add a trigger. Click on add trigger and this dropdown will appear. The first option is page added, which is self-explanatory. Anytime a page gets added to this database, you would hear about it in Slack. Alternatively, you can pick any one of your database properties and ask to be informed when such a property is edited. Should you want to see changes to any property, select this option at the top. In our case, we want to receive a notification when a task status is changed to complete. For multi-select properties, we have the option to specify the change we want to hear about. Here, Let's click next to the Any Option checkmark to uncheck all boxes. Then we'll select Complete. This means that whenever someone marks a task as complete, a Slack message saying as much will show up in your Slack workspace. Now hit Done. Note that you can add as many triggers as you want to your notification. To add a new trigger, click on the plus sign and pick whatever extra change you want to keep track of. Your new trigger will appear at the top of this section. The last step is to select the Slack channel you'd like to send your notifications to. You could choose the product channel or send them only to yourself. Once you're happy with your notification, hit Create. From now on, every time a task is set to complete, Notion will send a message to the product channel of your Slack workspace. As you can now see, there are infinite possibilities to setting exactly the notifications you want from Notion to Slack. From being pinged every time someone tags your name in Notion, to hearing about specific changes to pages in a Notion database, you can make sure that nothing of importance gets lost. When you paste the link to a Notion page in Slack, the link will unfurl and show the page's title and creator, so everyone can get a succinct idea of what the page is about, even if they don't have access to it yet. This nice sneak peek means your colleagues will need to wonder about the context behind a link. They'll get a preview of the page and be able to see how relevant it is to them at a glance. Additionally, when you share a Notion page link in Slack, it's possible that some members in the channel won't have access to that page. If this happens, a pop-up will appear and ask if you want to grant access to those users. You can do this straight away from Slack. You won't have to go back to Notion and open the page sharing settings, and your teammates won't have to write back asking for access. Valuable conversations happen spontaneously on Slack. 
So when someone in your Slack channel asks a key question or provides an explanation worth remembering, you can copy and paste those Slack messages into Notion where they'll appear as a link preview. You may attach these snippets of wisdom to your project briefs, user research docs, or company wiki to provide background information, or even answer a frequently asked question. You won't have to trawl through Slack to dig up the answer, and readers of the documents can access the primary source of information, meaning they'll know who to reach out to if they want further information. To copy a Slack message, go to its three-dot menu called More Actions. From the drop-down that unfurls, pick Copy Link. Then find the place in Notion where you want your Slack message to appear and paste it. By default, Notion will display your message as a preview, but you could also choose to paste them as a mention or a link. If you pick Paste as Preview, your Slack message will appear in this neat rectangle, formatted just like links to other Notion pages. Often, important action items or requests come up in the midst of a chat with your teammates on Slack, like tasks to do, decisions to be logged, or bugs to be filed. Instead of interrupting the flow of your conversation to go and enter them in a database, or taking a mental note to add them later on, you can file those items away in the database where they belong. For instance, your customer success team may report issues by sending them to the database your engineering team uses to track all bugs. Or you could send customer messages coming into a Slack channel straight to your user feedback database. To do this, click More Actions on the Slack message you want to add to a database. Select Send to Notion. Choose your database by either typing its name under Database Name until it appears, pasting the link to your Notion database, or clicking Choose next to its name if it shows up under your Frequently Used Databases list. Give your database entry a title. In this case, we'll name it after the user's full name. Click Add Property to fill out any properties you'd like to add to your entry. In this case, we could specify the type of task the user carried out, as well as the status and interviewer. All that without leaving Slack. When you're done, just click Save. Slack will generate a message in your channel to notify you that your new database item was successfully created. To access your new database page, simply click on the name you just gave to your entry. Your new database item is now visible in your Notion database and the original Slack message appears as a link preview inside the database page. We hope these few examples helped you better visualize how connecting Notion and Slack might save you time and effort, especially if you're using both apps on the daily. Try setting up notifications to Slack, playing around with previews, sending Slack messages to a database, and let us know what you think.